The NRMA Insurance Western Sydney Wanderers went a third week without a win as they drew 1-1 at home to Melbourne Heart. Aaron Moy levelled for the Wanderers, but even though they dominated in the second half, they couldn't find the winning goal, which was disappointing for all in the Wanderers' camp. I think they were disappointed because they, they saw how they played uh, the match. They saw in the second half how they dominated and, and unfortunately in, in that game they couldn't uh, put, a, put that dominance into goals. Uh, I think that, that's what the disappointment was. You always want to uh, win matches and you, you want to win your home matches, uh, certainly, but um, yeah, overall we're pleased with the performance. Uh, it was a great comeback as well after going down a goal. And you know, in, in the second half, we uh, we dominated the game, but we just couldn't score. If you saw the game on the weekend, I think we did everything right, apart from putting the ball in the back of the net. But that happens sometimes. And like I said, you just got to stay positive and work on things that we can improve on. And you know, I think the next challenge and next challenge is Newcastle. The game against Melbourne Hall was on the weekend. We didn't get the result we wanted, but I think the performance was there, and we just concentrate on this week. Scoring goals has been an issue for the Wanderers so far this season, having only netted 10 times in their opening nine matches. It's not too bad, we're sitting in second place and um, you know, of course that's, a, that's an area we want to improve, but there are many areas we want to improve. We're, we're only a third of the way through the season. Um, we're in a good position at the moment, uh, we want to get better. And um, you know, now in the next, next nine games, uh, we want to improve further in our results and performances. And uh, you've got to believe in what you do. And, and we have a lot of belief in this football club. Um, you know, there's a certain way we want to work. There's a certain way we want to play. And as long as we keep doing that, we have a lot of belief that the results will come. There is some good news on the attacking front as Tommy Urich is back training with the first team and well on his way to recovery. He's training with a group today, which is a, a real positive for us to see him out there. And you know, the boy's smiling and happy to be there. And, um, we just, uh, at the moment, we just assess him day by day, but he, he's certainly on the way back. We're hopeful that it, that it will be uh, against Central Coast, but um, you know, that, that'll be determined by the medical staff and by how Tommy feels. And uh, if it gets to that stage and he's not uh, ready, then it will be the week after. But you know, he's on track and um, you know, the main thing is that the boy recovers well from the injury. Um, both physically and mentally, that he feels he's, he's ready to play. And whenever that is, uh, that's when you'll see him on the park. Up next is an away trip to Hunter Stadium as the Wanderers take on the Newcastle Jets. Just one point separates the two sides and Tony Popovich knows it will be a tough test. They played very well. Um, you know, we've always known they're a very good team. And you know, they're, they're showing that now. And a lot of talented players. And you know, we, we know it will be another huge challenge for us uh, going up there uh, this weekend. Yeah, I'd be concerned if we needed extra motivation. I think this group of players are, are showing uh, already this season how hungry and determined they are to, to back up another good season this year as they did last year. And, um, you know, we go there and respect all our opponents and we certainly respect Newcastle, but, you know, we don't go there with any fear.